I biasly think a Raspberry Pi is one of, if not the best device anyone can use to run Kodi. Not only is the Raspberry Pi 3 a powerful device resources wide, its small form factor make it as mobile as others. On top of its use for Kodi, it can also be used for anything else you find a use for. Opposed to a standalone Android box that is only useful for Kodi, the Pi has millions of applications and builds available anywhere from a home security device to a time-lapse recorder. Yes, there are more powerful boxes out there that can run Kodi better, but being able to always have a use for a Pi even after it's done being your main Kodi box is amazing. For whatever reason, some people seem to have an issue installing Kodi on a Pi, but I feel like that stems from earlier generations that did have their issues. It used to be more of a problem installing Kodi on a Raspberry Pi than it is today, and as in this video, you'll see that me installing Kodi on a Raspberry Pi in 2017 couldn't be simpler. You're going to need three downloads to get you up and running on your Pi. To start things off, the download links will all be available in the description. First, you're going to need W32 Disk Imager. This is the program that is going to write Kodi image to your SD card. Go to the site, click the source forge file, and it will take you to where you need to go. Save the download and you should be good. Second is LibreELEC. I don't care what anybody says, this is better than OpenELEC, it's lighter and it runs better on a Pi, just being used for Kodi. Choose your Pi version from the website that I provide. It's a drop down list. Click the .image file and it should automatically start downloading. Uh, small note, this file needs to be extracted, so you'll need WinRAR or 7-zip to extract it if you don't already have those. Third is SD Formatter. This program quickly formats and prepares your SD card for the image file of LibreELEC. Choose the Windows file as I do and scroll down and press accept at the bottom and that should get the file downloading. Once all these programs are done downloading and you have installed SD Formatter and W32, as well as extracted LibreELEC, we can now begin installing. Plug your micro SD card into your computer to prepare for this next step. Take note of the drive letter that your SD card has been given. This is very important as choosing the wrong drive letter could format and erase data on something like a USB drive or another hard disk. Open SD Formatter and choose your SD card drive and simply click Format. Once completed, close SD Formatter. Open Win32 Disk Imager and it should look something like this. Click the file icon to the left and find the LibreELEC file you downloaded and extracted earlier. Again, make sure it is extracted, as well as make sure you choose the same SD drive letter that you've just formatted. Once you have the file chosen and it looks similar to here, click the right button and it should take care of everything. The SD card is now prepared. Take the card out of your computer and place it in the slot of the powered off Raspberry Pi. Now I can't record the first boot of the Pi, but once it's plugged in, it should do some first time runnings in LibreELEC and it should boot into Kodi. The settings such as network and SSH should open automatically. Most settings can be left default other than your network. If wired, it should be automatic, but if you need wireless, you'll need to put in your Wi-Fi info. Kodi is now installed on your Raspberry Pi. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions, leave a comment down below and, and I'll do my best to answer it. If you like this video, be sure to leave a like. And if you'd like to see more, please subscribe.